Hi, this is Lund from the FormKit team, and this is an introduction to validation rule hints. Rule hints are small characters that you place before a rule declaration that tell FormKit to change how the validation rules should be run. As a quick introduction, front-end form validation in general provides many benefits, like improving user experience by only giving a user feedback when they need it, or ensuring form data is properly shaped for how your backend wants to receive it, among many other benefits. FormKit has a standard process for running validation rules that we think provides good user experience most of the time. Let's take a look at these defaults and how to alter each behavior with the hint. By default, validation rules are run in sequence. Rules are run in the order they are declared. When a rule fails, any remaining rules are not run. This allows end users to address the most important feedback first, like noticing this username field is required before concerning themselves with other rules, like if the username is not long enough. To alter this behavior, we use the force hint, marked by an asterisk, to force a rule to run even if a previous rule was failing. Now the length rule will run even when required is failing. Secondly, by default, validation rules are skipped when empty. Users don't usually need to see validation messages on optional fields they've left blank or see errors on inputs until they've decided to fill them in. However, if you do have need to run validation rule even if an input is empty, the empty hint marked by the plus sign will do this for you. Thirdly, by default, validation rules are synchronous. They run right away and are not debounced or delayed. We use the debounce hint, marked by a parentheses, to delay a validation rule from running by the given number of milliseconds. This is useful if you are performing an expensive backend validation process and don't want API calls occurring on every keystroke. Lastly, by default, validation rules are submission blocking. When a validation rule is failing, it produces a blocking message that prevents form submission. We can make a validation rule non-blocking by using the optional hint marked by a question mark. The optional hint allows a form to be submitted even if the rule is failing. Like if your application recommends a stronger password but will still allow the user to set a weak one. Here's a list of all the hints and the defaults that they modify. You can also combine hints by placing multiple hints before a rule declaration like so. With over 20 validation rules built in and hints to modify how those rules are run, FormKit's validation system gives developers an abundance of functionality out of the box, all with a single prop. So that's a quick overview of validation rule hints, and we'll see you next time.